What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing? Um, so, I haven't made a video in a long time. The simple fact that, well, here's hint number one. No more yellow sun behind me. It is now birds, trees. I moved. I left the place that I grew up in again. This is actually like my ninth time moving since I was 15. I'm 21 now. And I just moved to uh, nowhere in New York. Um, I live in the mountains, but next to a lake. Uh, I'll show you out my window, but it's winter. It's foggy out. There's no snow yet. But it's just so foggy. I don't know if it's because I'm near the water. In the mountains, I have no idea. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. I am still on the Trillophon. Someone asked me a couple weeks ago on my uh, older video, my last updated video, I think, if I can remember. Um, I replied to that. I'm still on it. 8 milligrams in the morning, 16 at night. I don't like it. I did, I think. I didn't even watch that video. I didn't go through any other ones, so I just checked that out. Um, I started getting the shakes. I'm very... I mean, I was exaggerating a second ago, but... I I just have very steady hands. I wouldn't shake at all. Now I'm shaky. I'm really, really stiff at night. Okay. I feel weird out with my hair like this. Whatever. So, I'm real stiff, real shaky. Um makes me nauseous sometimes. It's really, really, really hard to get out of bed in the morning. Um, if you follow me, you know I have a daughter, so that's key. And being a zombie until I have, like, three cups of coffee isn't my thing. But because I was in the process of moving, now moved, I did see my new therapist last week. I see her again tomorrow. And I think I see the doctor sometime in January or early February. So, yeah, that's that. Um, the highlight of this video, why I wanted to make it, I'm actually, I'm very proud of this. And I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I'm also going to post a link below for it. And also a link to a Facebook page that I created. It's not my personal Facebook. It's just a page I created for people with schizophrenia. So if you see this, please go, like the page, check it out. I try to keep it as updated as possible. Um, information, tips, just for living with schizophrenia. If you know somebody, check it out, have them like it. Um, all the information I get comes from websites. Uh, I mean, I'm not like randomwebsite.com. I sort... Or I cite, sort, I cite every website for if I, if I get something online, I will cite it. If it comes from my own head, it's not, it's not going to cite it. I don't think I need to cite that it's from me. So this is it. SZ Magazine, let's see. What? This is the fall issue of 2012. Um... And also, if anyone from SC Magazine is looking at this, I just wanted to thank you. Um, I know I sent an email thanking you. I sent a uh, thing on my Twitter, which I don't use anymore, but I, I did. I used that. And I thank you guys. And I just, the amount of support that I got from this is incredible. And I just, I'm so appreciative. So, that's my article. Ah, there we go. That's me. Sean the Point. You now know who I am. I am no longer a non. But yeah, they published an article for me, and I appreciate it. I mean, now it's void since I moved. Um, if you read the article, it's on the uh, Facebook page. I posted the article on there. Um, it's me complaining about doctors and uh, just unfair treatment, basically. I, I never got treated properly. I would go in, I would complain about meds, I would complain about whatever, and the doctors that I went to, my med doctor kept saying, wait next month. 
That's what I heard every month. Um, it took like three or four months for him to actually listen um, to the things I was saying. I mean, I was having symptoms a week into the Mad Fan Napped, which is a, a very new one. It's also with Zaphyrus. And um, I told him I was having symptoms that are related to Fan Napped a week in. And he said to me, we don't change meds if you have symptoms a week in. If you have symptoms two or three weeks in, then we'll change meds. I was mind blown. Why? If I have the symptoms that are causing me trouble that FANAP is known for a week in, why would you wait longer to say, yeah, they're still there? Um, whatever. I mean, I, I can kind of understand, you know, some, some symptoms you have for a little while and they go away, but the symptoms I was having, they weren't going away. They weren't going, they weren't going to. And I told him, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to leave here today and I'm not going to take it. I'm going to refuse. So that got his attention, but he stopped doing that after a while. I threatened that for a long time and he just stopped listening. So yeah, I'm on the Trilophon. It's barely working like everything else. Um, I'm keeping a level head, you know. I have a lot to think about now. A lot to not screw myself over with. So, you know... Um, have you ever seen a beautiful mind? Uh, John Nash, which I believe is well, this was based on an actual dude, John Nash. Uh, he gets into some older years, and you know he just realizes. I think he got into a fight with his body, and he's like, they never age. Talking about his hallucinations, they don't age. And he went on and led a fulfilling career, fulfilling life just by recognizing that it wasn't real. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to recognize it's just, it's not real. It's just my brain hating me. So yeah, um, SC Magazine, guys, they are, I believe, the only schizophrenic magazine for North America. There's Four issues a year, I think. I actually think I got... No. There's, I think there's four. Um, I just kept this one because it's uh, got my article in it. I'll just give you a brief run-through. There's updates on research, um, tips for relationships. Uh, this one's got working together, uh, finding life's purpose, dare to dream big, employment and education, making it work, um... The job interview, should you tell the people at your job if you have a mental illness? Um, and then just general health. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you said a lot of stuff in here. It's very, I found it very helpful. Um, my family struggles with it more than I do, I think. I think that's true for a lot of people. So, getting these, I will fly through them. In the night, I'll sit here in a sitting, and I'll go through it, and I'll pass them along with my family, except for this one, because it's got my article in it. And um, I think that's helped them a lot, seeing my point of view and then research. So, yeah, there's that. I'm going to post some links down below in the description. So if you want to check out the magazine, you want to subscribe to it, um, and then my uh, Facebook like page, which is full of updates, information, my article in that magazine. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you, guys. I will try to be back more. Um, just getting kind of busy with a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, stay strong. And once again, how I end all my videos, if you guys need anything, send me a message right here on YouTube. I will try to check it as soon as I can. If you want to go the uh, email route, my email is the same as my YouTube. Writing Tales, only it's dif different from where it is. Writing Tales at Yahoo. So instead of YouTube, it's Yahoo. Um, and I'll try to help you out. I mean, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist, but I've been going through this for a while now. So 
Uh, if anyone needs anything, I'll, I'll try my best. If you're looking for services, you don't got to tell me where you live. Just give me your zip code, your area code even, and I will give you a list of every town. I will try my best to give you a list of every town that has a place where you should go. I mean, if you have different insurance, well, whatever your insurance is, I can't call the places up for you and ask if they take it, obviously. So, just let me know, and I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you with anything you need, um, anything that I can, that I can physically do behind the screen. I will help you. So, that's that. And, uh, again, thank you, SCD Magazine. I really appreciate it, and have a good one, guys.